Good morning, class. How are you today? Today is Wednesday. Wednesday, April the 22nd. Wednesday, April the 22nd. Good morning! And we are going to start on Lesson 131 today. And you already know that there is only one paper for Lesson 131. So that means that we have to do a lot of extra class information on these days when we have nothing but one worksheet. There is something else that we need to do. To do. And today we'll try to carry it out within the uh, restrictions and requirements of Hillsborough County. So we're going to start with a review of the letter V because this is nothing new. Okay, start right here where the red dot is. Go down and up. Now, capital V or big V goes from top line to bottom line. And little V starts at the halfway mark. The dotted line goes down to the bottom and back up and stops at the half line again. So remember to trace, copy, trace, copy, and then go down here and write the words. Trace it first, then write the name. Trace it first, and then write the name. Vic will tell Val. Remember your punctuation. And down here, copy it. And now on the back is the letter X. However, this is a different lesson. So we put that back until we need that for the next lesson. And we're going to go to... Firefly. Remember yesterday we started? We're going to start up again. We're going to continue where we left off. Everybody agreed that Chirpy was the most musical insect in the whole neighborhood. Chirpy played music with his two wings. That's Chirpy. That's Fred. He rubbed a file-like ridge of one wing on a rough part of the other, so naturally his fiddle, if you could call it by that name, went with him wherever he went. When Cree, Cree, Cree rang out in the night, everybody knew that heard it that it was Chirpy Cricket. He was playing his music, and the warmer the night, the faster he played. Okay, Chirpy's playing his back wings. Since Freddy Firefly was so fond of hearing Chirpy's music, it was nice for Freddy that his cheerful neighbor played at night, when Freddy and his family could enjoy it. And Freddy frequently went out of his way on a fine, dark summer's night to find Chirpy the Cricket and thank him for his fine music. At the same time, Chirpy had set out to find Freddy Firefly because he simply had to get Freddy to help him. Someone had told Chirpy that Farmer Green's family had seen a fabulous parade in town one evening and Chirpy Cricket saw no reason why he and his friends should not enjoy one too. Chirpy and Freddy found each other in the swampy part of the meadow near the place where the cat tails grew and we'll find out what they said tomorrow say bye freddy bye chirpy see you tomorrow today we're going to continue with our community helpers with nurses nurses can be males or females you can be a nurse whichever a lot of people go up through the ranks of being a nurse they started a cna and then they go to an lpn and then an rpm and then sometimes they're doing that on their way to becoming an, a doctor, a PhD. But RNs are very intelligent and knowledgeable, and we can trust them when they tell us something. We can trust them when we go to the doctor's office and they help us. The missionary nurse, with a smile on her face and a bag in her hand, she boarded a plane and flew off to a foreign land. Oh, which was the rhyming word there? She went to help sick people and help them get well. But even more important, she had a story to tell. What's my two rhyming words there, Dylan? I know you know you are an excellent rhymer. Medicine may fix sick bodies and make them well again, but only Jesus' love can fix the heart of men. What are the rhyming words there? That's a little more difficult. Isaac, Isabella, can you tell me? Ariella, what's my rhyming words in that one? When you are sick, 
When you are feeling very sick, the nurses whose oh so dear is your own very mother, how her love can cheer. Yes, our mothers actually act as nurse so many times. We go to them when we're not feeling well, and they help diagnosis and triage us. That's a big word that says they tell how uh, severe your symptoms are, and then they treat you based on your symptoms and how severe. That's the word triage. Our mothers will triage us and say, oh, you're so bad, we need to go to the doctor. Or, you're so bad, we need to go to the emergency room. Or, We're, you're so bad, you need to have a cup of hot tea and some vitamin C or some vitamin D or some vitamins. And that's what a mother's job at home is. She is the first line of medicine in our homes. A nurse helps a doctor. A nurse does many things to make it easier for the doctor to help many people. The nurse takes your temperature with a thermometer. If you are sick, you may have a fever. She listens to your heartbeat with a stethoscope. See, that's around her neck. That's a stethoscope. She may have you stand on the scales to see how much you weigh and measure how tall you are, which is very important when they uh, give you your medicine. If you're sick, they have to base a lot of it on your weight. So that's why the nurse weighs you. She writes down important information and follows the doctor's orders to give medicine. A nurse can be a man or a woman. Some nurses work in schools. Others work in doctor's offices. A hospital nurse watches for changes in the patient's condition and reports them to the doctor. She may have to change bedding or arrange for special foods and call the doctor for more medicines or different kind. I've heard it said that the hospital nurses are who keep you alive because they're with you so often. They know and can monitor you quite well. So we are very grateful for all of our nurses, male and female, LPNs, RNs. I think I said that right. So thank you, nurses. They're especially important during a pandemic. We need them very badly. Here is today's God's world. God's world. God's world. Okay. Using my senses. Looky here. If you get permission from your caretaker, whether it's your mom, your dad, your older sibling, a nanny, a grandmother, whoever is taking care of you, see if they will give, go outside with you so you can experience some of these things, okay? Maybe even in the evening you can do this. Maybe they can help arrange a taste testing. That's something that we would do at school. We would try to have a variety of different tastes or smells and have the children smell them or taste them to experience um, different senses. Go outside and look at the clouds. See with your eyes the changes in the clouds. See if you can find animals or uh, pictures or people in the clouds. Sometimes you can. That uses your imagination and your eyes. All right. How does the grass feel against your feet? So take off your shoes for just a minute. You may have to wear uh, shoes most of the time when you're outside because we have Florida sand spurs. Woohoo! Gotta love those little buggers. So take off your socks and shoes just for a minute and feel the grass. That is part of touch. You feel with your hands, but you can also, your skin is on your feet and you can feel the difference between sand. You can feel the difference between uh, green grass and brown dry grass. Maybe at night, if you can go outside, you can see the sunset. The air smells more damp, maybe, or it feels more damp. You can maybe hear a cricket like we talked about in our lesson with Chirpy and Freddy, can you hear Chirpy and can you see Freddy the Firefly? Those are senses that we can experience at night. When you eat your lunch today and your snack, is it sour? Is it sweet? Does it have a bitter note? That is not coffee. I thought that was coffee beans. Oh, coffee beans. Yeah, that, I'm drinking my coffee over here. Is it salty? What do you taste when you taste your foods? That's one of your senses. It's very important. 
They used to not know exactly what was poison or what was okay to eat, but if it was extremely bitter, they did not eat it, and they said that it was poison. So use all of your senses to see outside, to hear outside, to taste the foods. Okay, and nurse. And that is the... Oh, please remember to read every day. Read your Dr. Seuss book. Read a book on yourself. Read out loud to your older siblings. Read out loud to your younger siblings. Read to your dog. Read to your cat. Read, 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 read. Let's read. It will help you develop and grow and be ready for first grade. Love you guys. Bye, Ariella. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Layla. Bye, Dylan. Bye, Isabella. Bye, Isaac. Y'all have a great day. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow when we have lesson 131. Woohoo! Bye-bye, guys.